Okay, so next question is all often asked to quite a lot. If you don't have any money, what would you start from to start to start making some money? Okay, you just don't have much money. What do you start? Yeah, so I get I get questions all the time. So I I have limited money. What should I do? Stuff. So I usually say start selling your stuff. Unnecessary stuff from home on eBay, or Amazon to make extra cash. To learn, to learn, right? Yes. Like, but it doesn't scale because the problem yeah. is going to be that you're going to spend so much time with the labor component of selling things, and you need to be very careful with the time, yeah. right? The more you time spend time on the labor of doing, of producing money, the more difficult it's going to become to scale this out, right? right? So I think it's I think that's also important that you. When you start this way, which is not a bad idea, that you also have an exit strategy. Right. That you know that okay, well, you know, you're gonna maybe have someone, you know, who's gonna do this for you, or you you have a fulfillment place that you're going to use that can package the goods for you and send those uh, things off. So I think that's really important. Right. Is that you that you're kind of hard on yourself with with time and, and where you invest in your time. That you're very deliberate. It's like, okay, right now I'm learning all these things of how to sell on eBay, on, um, on Rakuten, and um, Amazon, and wherever. I'm learning this right now, so it's okay that I do everything manually. Yeah. But always think of automating things. Right. Always think of like, how can you duplicate yourself? Good. That's a good idea. Okay, so at home you don't nobody watching you. So how do you keep yourself disciplined? Because a lot of people say. Ah, I cannot really focus, I don't have any concentration, after 10 minutes I just Google it and then I stop working. So, you know, I, I always advise, you know, set your own routine and then don't go to bed until you complete your daily task and just re repeat about it. But do you have any opinion about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically... You're the, you the, your own boss, right? I mean, nobody's going to say anything to you, hey Max, you got to do that, you know, but in that case, how do you motivate yourself and yes. keep, keep doing it. That is true. So um, so basically what I'm using, and I can show you, kind of like a Pomo um, yeah. timer, yeah. right? Where if I really want to concentrate on certain things and I've got like 10 different things that are going on, I just have like, you know, I work in 25 minute increments. Oh, okay. On one thing. Because yeah. I've got all of my tasks written down. Like remember at the beginning when I said how important it is for me always to write everything down yeah, yeah. that I need to do. Yeah. And then I have some dedicated time where I'm specifying do I need to do it now or later or when do I do it? And I just spread it on the calendar of when I'm so, going to do what. So you use a timer? Yeah. And then I use, like um, sometimes I then use uh, for dedicated, concentrated work, if I've got 10 things on the, um, on, on the go and I need to get a lot of these things done. Um, ideally, you would not have that many things on the go. But if you if you if you do, just chip away at it. Like yeah. spend 25 minutes on each thing yeah. to just start with them, right? That's good. Yeah. Because if they if they don't, they just accumulate they, like like a credit card or like a like a loan. And just accumulate. You just accumulate debt. You need to pay it off. You need to always pay. Off. If you have debt, you need to always pay the debt off. Yeah. Right. And it's the same with time. It's like tasks that you're on your on the calendar is like that you need to always pay that off yeah. so if you can spread kind of like your you know your concentration across different different items by then dedicating time um, to to focus on them individually then that works and I listen to really kind of almost like meditation music while I'm oh, meditation music. That's sometimes good. That's yeah. good. sometimes meditation music for other tasks uh, maybe to faster music I it really depends on the on the mood yeah. but what keeps you what, what keeps you motivated like if you kind of drift off in your thoughts right like if that still doesn't work and, and, and you, you're not disciplined enough to do this you need to ask yourself what's important in your life because obviously then that thing is not important for you that's right right obviously it's not important that doesn't work out because you would for sure pay a lot of attention if it's important to that's you. True, that's true. so be true to yourself be right. honest to yourself right. because not everyone is necessarily going to you know, this idea that you have, not everyone necessarily, you know, wants to do it. Yeah. So, that's a, that's a very good if you're drifting of off, obviously it might it's make you... Like, important. You, you, you need yeah. to ask yourself, 
you need to be very honest with yourself. It's a difficult thing to do. Um, I think it's as hard as getting to know other people as getting to know yourself all the time. That's also a hard thing to do. So. Next question is sometimes you go through bad times, like you know, not always good time, right? So when you, you even though you work so hard, sometimes result might not come out so good. Then you have bad day. In your case, how do you manage your stress? When you have a bad time, nothing goes do well on your side, and your motivation kind of going down. So in that case, how do you usually manage your stress? I think that's very personal of, of how people manage their stress. In my case, um, for me, what works, I have a sauna at home and I like to go into the sauna. Oh, sauna. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah. Very hot. Yeah, that's nice. You know? too. Yeah. So, for me, that works. Do you really have a sauna at home? Yeah, I have a, in my, my place. And I was so lucky because I got it just before COVID. And, and after that, like, everyone wanted, like, spots or sauna at home right nobody could get it anymore so I was very lucky that I got it when I got it so um, but for me that is like for me is a is a really good de-stressor yeah, stress stress. yeah that's a very good um, the, um, the, um, I like sauna so I usually go public sauna but ever since I came to Singapore I, I, I haven't been to sauna yet but, <laughs> yeah. but in Japan I used to go to yeah. um, it's a very good stress user, yeah. Yeah, and, and um, I think, uh, you know, for if, it, if it's like stress in the moment of what, of what I'm doing, I yeah. think what's important is that you stop doing the thing that stresses you out and do something completely different. Yeah. That sometimes then also solves those um, those issues. And then have a retrospective with yourself later on and, and figure out what caused so much stress to have because there might be something systemic. That it, in the, in the system of how you work that caused you to have the stress in the first place. So maybe you can avoid that from the beginning. And that typically starts with making sure you don't have too many things on your plate at the same time. Typically stress occurs when there's a lot of urgent things that need to get done. So being smart about how you spread that out, I think that is also really important. That's good. Yeah. What about you? Oh, I usually go exercise. I go jog and I just yeah. Go. I think like, a lot of people do that. Yeah, the exercising that does work. Time to eat. Time to eat. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Max. And uh, I hope you have a safe flight back to the US. And then uh, we promise you're gonna come back again. Of course. Next year. That's right. At the latest. All right. Bye. Okay. We got some food. Look at the tofu. And an unagi eel. I can't believe the max order of eel. eel. Yeah, why? Why can't you believe it? Well, a lot of, I'm sorry, a lot of Caucasian don't like eel. No. So I got Japanese highball. I missed it. I haven't drink highball since I left Japan. Chicken with uh, yu yuzu, that'll be good. It's my actually favorite. Let's try it. How about you like this? It's probably very hot, so I'm just sort of waiting for a minute here. Good? Mm. Japanese hokkien. 